Hi guys, so today I wanted to talk with you all about style versus your lines or your silhouette or your body type because that's a question that I often get from clients and from subscribers, from comments. I always see this type of question or concern that's like, well, my body type doesn't match my style. You know, I don't really resonate with the, the, the style that's associated with my body type. And I want to kind of talk a little bit about that and sort of give examples of how really your body type is a set of lines. It's not a certain style. And I want to sort of give examples of, uh, I drew some images of a boho or a bohemian style so that you guys can see how that can be achieved in the five main body types. So if you're completely new here, then I offer typing through my website. I'll leave some links down below. And if you want to look around the channel, I have a ton of videos on how you can find your body type and your color type. So I'll leave some video links in the description as well. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so first up we have sharpened, and the closest kibby type to this is dramatic. And I see a lot of sort of ideas about dramatic or sharpened basically being very serious looking, and it usually does not really match with, you know, bohemian or boho style. So I thought I would try to do an interpretation of sharpened lines or boho, boho style in sharpened lines and show you guys how you could potentially achieve that. So you can see that we have some long clean lines. We can add a little bit of texture because you know, bohemian or boho looks tend to have as one of their defining characteristics texture and that means textured hair that means textured everything and oversized and loose and baggy things so a lot of the time it's associated with beveled or natural body types right so naturals are going to be sort of the boho queens and there is some truth to that you know i'm not going to say that certain body types or certain lines or certain sets of lines don't lend themselves better to certain styles than other sets of lines. However, I do think that there is way, way, way more leeway in terms of the style that you can achieve with your lines, with your body type, and I think it's it's not very helpful to associate a style with, with each body type because that can sort of feel very limiting and there's so much you can do with your own lines. Okay, so you can see that we have added a little bit of texture here, but not too much. You know, I can see, for example, sharpened wearing linen or something like that in a boho type of look and that's already going to look really textured. So the other thing about this is you can notice that her hair is a tiny bit tousled but not too tousled because remember sharpened lines are clean so you want to avoid overly tousled hair but a little bit of tousling can work. And you can see that we have those long clean lines overall and the pattern on the top is geometric and we also have a v-neck so that's how we're sort of sneaking in some of the those sharpened elements, the sharpened lines, without necessarily compromising the boho style. And then I did add some things like the sort of tassel looking jewelry. Um, it's still a bit simple, it still has sort of those long clean lines, but it still works. I think it still works. You can add a little bit of texture, you can add a little bit, um, a little elements from other body types without sort of completely making your look be disconnected from you. Okay, next up we have beveled, which is the closest kibby type is natural. So for beveled or naturals, it's pretty self-explanatory like I hinted at when I talked about sharpened, you know. This is going to be, you know, for you to look boho, for you to look bohemian, a lot of beveled types actually think that they automatically look bohemian, which is not true. Actually, the opposite is true. You automatically don't look bohemian at all you actually, so it's, it's kind of like the opposite effect. So because your lines are already unconstructed, textured, tousled hair, when you put on something with tousled hair, uh, maybe a loose button down and do a front tuck, that would look boho on a blended type, on a classic, okay? But on a bevel type, on a natural, that is not going to look boho at all. That's going to look chic and put together and, you know, it's going to look very much... Uh, f almost formal. So you have to consider that for you to actually look boho, you need to add a ton of texture, a ton of tousling to the hair, 
the long lines, the unconstructed fit, the mix and match jewelry, all of it, the chunky jewelry, you know, all of it. You really need to start layering all of those things because your lines are already inherently pretty much textured and unconstructed. So, so for, for that to look like it's, you're trying to make that sort of into a style, you need to do a lot of it to actually look boho. Next up, we have blended, and the closest kitty type to that is classic. So if you are a blended type of any kind, then this is sort of... I get this question a lot from blended types. Blended types either love their type or they hate their type, and it's all sort of based on this premise that if you're a blended type, you have to dress like Kate Middleton. It's absolutely not true at all. You don't have to dress like Kate Middleton, and you also don't have to dress formally if you're a blended type at all. It's all about the lines, it's all about the silhouette. It's not so much about the style at all. Especially if you're a blended type, you're in the middle, your lines are pretty pretty much neutral, you know, not particularly long, not particularly short. Your lines are smooth lines, they are not lightweight fabrics, heavyweight fabrics, they're all sort of in the middle. So for you, you really have pretty much, you have access to pretty much all the styles, and this is something that that a lot of people, I think, may not realize who are blended. It's just that, for you, the key is that you are going to do understated. And that, that, doesn't, that doesn't mean that you're going to look understated in that style. It doesn't mean that you're going to look less boho than other people, or less elegant, or less fun than other people. It's just that when you do a style against the backdrop of your clean, smooth, minimal lines, things really stand out. So things are already going to look textured on you, even if they're a tiny bit textured. So you can see here that we have moderate lines in the drawing, the hair is a little bit tousled, and there's a tiny bit of texture, but I kind of even made the outfit formula, you know, the long cardigan with the tank top and the pants and tousled hair. I made that the same outfit formula as the beveled type, so if you're watching only this part of the video, I'd recommend going back and looking at the beveled picture and seeing what similarities you see and how how it's different. And so what you're going to find is that there are all of those elements, right? There is a tiny bit of the tousled hair, there is a tiny bit of a longer line to the cardigan than maybe you would have if it was like a moderate line. There is a little bit of the texture on the on the cardigan, but everything is just less, right? Everything is just a little bit less, and it still looks put together. It still doesn't look disconnected or messy on the blended type, but it still also kind of maintains that, that style of the, the boho style and brings in some of those elements without looking disconnected or messy. Okay, next up we have mixed. So for mixed, the closest body type or kibby type to this is gamine. And for mixed, it, it can be kind of variable in terms of the, the types of styles that mixed uh, people can really wear, but in general, they can definitely easily wear some sort of boho style because they have the tousled hair, they can, they can do tousled hair, it's just that they need to wear short lines. So you can see that I put a crop top on her, and I also made the pants a bit shorter, sort of ankle length. And uh, the textures can really work pretty well on, on mixed. Just make sure that you are wearing short lines. So anything in a boho style that has short lines, that means it's cropped in some way, shape, or form, and also maybe some color blocking, different colors top to bottom, that is going to really help you achieve the, the, the boho style as a mixed type. And if you go and sort of look for items on any sort of um, retailer's website that does a lot of boho style, then just think about things that are cropped, and you'll actually be surprised how many things are cropped. Um, in in boho style. So as long as they're sort of cropped, they have short lines, that's going to look pretty good on you. And you also want to go, if you're in doubt, go for textured or stiffer fabrics rather than lightweight fabrics, if you're in doubt. If not, you can sort of do both most of the time. Just avoid anything too glamorous, but that's not going to be a problem. Uh, there's not going to be a problem for a boho style anyway. So you can really just go on any retailer's website and just look for short lines. And then just go with tousled hair and some accessories that are sort of boho inspired and I think you'll you'll really be able to do a boho look pretty well and pretty effortlessly. 
Okay, last but not least, we have a round. The closest Kibbe type is romantics. So this is like all the romantics, romantic, theatrical, romantic. So the thing with rounded, this was actually the most challenging to come up with a boho look for. And that's because boho style, so a lot of items do have short lines, but they also have a lot of texture to them. So if you are rounded and you are doing a boho style, I would really recommend going for the type of, I guess, like a feminine boho style, I, I would say. Maybe things that have more of the lace elements, things that have more of the sort of lightweight fabrics, lace elements. And one thing that is a really common, common thing that rounded types really don't understand about their lines is that they often go for for lines that are too long and lines that are too loose or baggy and especially too long they think oh i'm a romantic rounded type i'm gonna wear flowy things flowy things do look good on you but you have to be careful because you have a small frame you have small bones and you have short bones so when you go for flowy things which you're particularly at risk for if you're doing a boho style right nine times out of ten if you aren't careful you're gonna end up with beveled soft soft natural type stuff okay and you don't want that that's going to drown you it's going to make you look puffy and it's just going to look really disconnected from you and you're not going to know why it's going to look messy on you so try to avoid long lines and try to avoid overly oversized overly baggy things think about the waist emphasis you know i've drawn in this image that she really has a lot of waist emphasis the things that she's wearing fit her pretty well and she also has short lines to the pants for example and the cardigan is a little bit shorter than all of the other types that were wearing cardigans i also put some lace detailing on there too and that sort of adds that touch of intricacy and you want to go for lightweight fabrics if you can and also maybe some soft or bright colors you don't want to go for dark or heavy neutrals or heavy earth tones you want to stick with either bright colors or soft pastels and for the hair last but not least okay the hair i think would be really wonderful for boho if it's long but still quite done up so you don't want to go for tousled hair if you want to see what tousled hair looks like on a rounded type or what boho and sort of what beveled soft lines soft natural lines look like on a romantic a rounded type you could take a look at drew barrymore and you'll see how the tousled hair that she sometimes does sometimes she does her hair really um really in in line with her silhouette and sometimes she does her hair tousled and when it's tousled you can really see that it looks very disconnected from her so be careful with tousled hair if you are a rounded type of any kind instead things usually your hair unless you've spent five hours trying to get it to just sit absolutely perfectly right chances are if you just spend some time on your hair it's already going to look a little bit tousled on you because your lines are just so clean and so neat and so small so with your hair just style it curl it or something like i'm showing in the image try to avoid an overly tousled look and uh, the uh, little hair piece that i put in on in this image i think is a really good way to go for a boho hairstyle because you really can't do tousled hair so that type of uh, headband that you can put sort of around your head like that like in the image is going to give you lift so the long hair is not going to drag you down too much and it, it also looks boho so that's a huge benefit for this particular video so the rest of it yeah it's pretty much fitted you're going to focus on lightweight fabrics you're going to focus on short lines and waist emphasis and try to avoid overly baggy or overly textured things that's that's about it for rounded romantic so that is it you guys i hope you enjoyed this video leave some comments down below let me know your thoughts as usual let me know any video requests or questions or otherwise any comments you have and uh, i will leave some links down below as usual if you are confused about your body type where you can get started if you're new here and also links to my body typing and color typing that i offer through my website so i'll leave all those links below Leave me a comment and I will talk to you next time. Okay, bye.